Hi you guys. So this is the video for Monday and we're doing our usual editing sentences. So you are definitely free to read these on your own and look for any mistakes that you find and then check back in. You can pause the video and then you can see me correct them. If you would like, you can also listen to me read each one and then you can pause the video and make all of the corrections that you find, like look for the mistakes that you find and then watch me correct them, okay? Number one, I dropped my toy in the bathtub. Number two, can I borrow your raincoat? Number three, this is my friend Ruby. Okay, so that's me reading the sentences. If you need to go ahead and pause the video right now, go through, find the mistakes that I made on purpose, see if you can fix them, and then check back in and you can see me correct them. Okay, sound good? Awesome. Okay, part two. Now I'm going to correct them. First of all, there's two things with this, this first sentence. The pronoun I is always uppercase. When we're speaking about ourselves and we're using the word I in place of our name, it's always uppercase. And also, it happens to be the first word in a sentence, which is also uppercase. I dropped me, which is Spanish for my, but in English we use M Y my and this is one of our rainbow words so it should be a word that you are pretty familiar with you've seen it a lot you should be able to write it correctly I dropped my toy in mm, wacky capital you need a lowercase n lowercase i lowercase n I dropped my toy in the bath bath tub tub it's all spelled correctly, but bathtub is a compound word, which means it's two words that are words by themselves that you squish together to make a new word. Bathtub. Bath is a word. Tub is also a word, but when you put them together, it makes the word bathtub. I dropped my toy in the bathtub, period. I need a period at the end of that sentence. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five mistakes in number one. Number two. Can I borrow your raincoat? So right away, one of the very first things that I notice, even though it's at the end of the sentence, is that's a question. I'm asking somebody a question. Can I borrow your raincoat? I do not need an exclamation point. I need a question mark. I need a question mark. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And of course, at the beginning of my sentence, I need an uppercase C, not a lowercase C. Can I borrow your, your raincoat? Your, your raincoat. Your is why O U R. Y O U R. Can I borrow your? Mm, just like up here. Rain is a word and coat is a word. But when you put them together, raincoat, it is a compound word, which means they get put together. There's no space between them. Can I borrow your raincoat? With a question mark. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Check. Yep, that was the hint I gave you. Four mistakes in the second sentence. Okay, number three. This is my, ooh, it's looking good so far. This is my friend, Ruby. Now, this is the tricky thing about the word friend. That's how it sounds, absolutely. Fur. End, friend, right? 
but we've seen this word enough in books and we've written it enough in our writing to know that that's not how you spell it. Friend is F-R-I-E-N-D. Now that's strange, right? But that is how it's spelled and we need to know that that's how it's spelled. Friend, friend. Ruby. This is my friend Ruby. If I was talking about a person like Ruby in first grade, everybody's names get capitalized, right? Ruby is a proper noun, which means it gets an uppercase R, not a lowercase R. This is my friend Ruby. Boop. Period. I need a period at the end of my sentence. Okay, so let's count up and see if I have three. One, two, three. Yay. I got them all. Okay, so you should have five in the first, four in the second, and three mistakes in the third. Okay? All right, you guys. I will see you tomorrow.